Hi, in this video we'll have a look at how to create a simple side navigation using material and angular. The first thing we need here is to add angular material to our project. So go to your root folder and do ng add angular material. Once that is completed, we need to load four modules from the material package. So here we have a icon, toolbar, list of items and the side navigation. So let's see how we can do that. So in our app.module.ts add mad side nav module, list module, icon module and the toolbar module. Now let's have a look at our app component.ts. So here it's a basic angular component and we don't have much here, just a title and an array of list items. In our HTML, we are using app side navigator. So let's have a look at our side navigator component. Our side navigator component it is also a basic component, nothing much here. The actual code which gives us the side navigation is in the HTML. So here we have a mat toolbar. So this is our toolbar and this is our icon. So we have a toolbar and a button which toggles the side navigation to hide or show. Next we have a mat drawer container. Our drawer container contains router links with about us, contact us and what we do. And the pink color comes from router link active, the CSS, I'll show you that afterwards. Then we have our mat drawer content, which has a router outlet to display pages in our main area. Next we have our pages. So we have our about us, contact us and what we do. Let's have a look at one of them. So about us is also a basic angular component, nothing much here. The HTML has about us works. The important file here is about us.module.ts. So we have created a module for this component so that we can let it be loaded lazily by our router. So here we have about us module. So about us component will be lazily loaded and we'll be configuring it in our router module.ts. So about us component will be lazily loaded by the parent side nav. Similar to about us module, we have modules for contact us and what we do. Let's have a look at app routing modules.ts. So here we have our app routing module.ts. The parent path is side nav. So this will be our parent path and we'll be lazily loading the children about us, contact us and what we do when somebody clicks an item in our list. At last, let's have a look at the CSS here. So here we have our CSS, we are using purple green dot CSS and our body is 100%. A very important CSS class here is our app view, which has height given as 100 VH and width given as 100 VW. This will make sure that your main area covers the entire area of our browser. Next our pink color on active comes from here. And that is all what you need to create a side navigation with angular material. So this is what you'll get once you have written your code. Thanks for watching.